Track one uh, on uh, What Good Am I To You is a song named Will Not Play uh, This Game. And uh, this song um, I wrote after listening to a lot of, of Tony Joe White. And it's just generally about uh, people in your life who, uh, who you, you can never seem to forget. Uh, for whatever reasons you can't forget them, usually for the for, for reasons that you'd like to forget them, but you just can't seem to. And these people always seem to crop up in your mind. And uh, that's what the whole song's about, basically. Uh, you're not playing the game and trying to forget. Uh, track two is a song called Going Down. This one um, I wrote a little while ago. I, I got quite into some of the Canadian music uh, from the late 90s, uh, bands like Big Sugar. And uh, Grady, and basically anything that, that Gordy Johnson uh, was involved with, and uh, that this tune is kind of quite heavily influenced by uh, by, by his style. And um, I got to play a 1960s uh, 12-string electric Gibson 12-string electric on this track, which is one of the highlights of the uh, of this session for me. And um, yeah, we had a lot of fun doing it. It's got that kind of New Orleans groove uh, that, that I really that really like the music from uh, that comes out of New Orleans. So we uh, twinned that with a kind of heavier sound to get that. And going down is basically about looking uh, over your shoulder all the time. There's always something to, to watch out for or someone after you wanting something from you. And uh, that's the kind of essence of the song. Um, track three, uh, Messing Around the More. I wrote this song quite quickly actually. Um, I love uh, the kind of Texas shuffle kind of feel of songs. Uh, I played it on the resonator uh, uh, on the album to have that kind of quite old school, slightly Tom Waits rough sound. And uh, Reeves came up with a groove that he says is called the flat tire groove, which is a very kind of wonky shuffle. It sounds like a car kind of hobbling along with one tire out. And uh, we kind of put that together to make it that kind of, you know, really loose, kind of tune to, uh, just to fit with the, with the idea of the song, that it's kind of a loose, kind of humorous look on a, on a on a relationship with someone who you're messing around with and you realise that you don't need to mess around with this, with this person no more. Uh, it's quite a funny realisation. Uh, track four is a song called Devil Girl. Um, I actually recorded this song with um, a man named Jimmy Carl Black. He was a... Uh, um, the drummer from the Mavis Invention, Mavis Invention, Frank Zappa's band, uh, way back in the day. And he uh, stopped by a rehearsal we were having in Liverpool uh, many years ago with my old band. And um, we, we kind of played a load of blues. He is uh, a fantastic drummer. We, we had a great day of playing music, listening to the stories he had. And then uh, on this tune, he, he laid down some, some spoken word vocals, which was, a, which was a real funny, real highlight for me. Um, and uh, yeah, this basically, we reworked the tune. For this album, based it around Scott's uh, kind of rolling bass line, and the whole tune is basically just about things people will do for for the girl, uh, you know, crazy lengths people will go to just for a girl.